Um, today is May 5th, uh, 2019, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. Okay, so today, let's see here, let me go ahead and use the um, Oracle of the Unicorns today to see where our Divine Masculine's energy is at. Okay, we have dance. Hmm? Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. And so, you know, what I'm getting is that, you know, today is Cinco de Mayo, right? Uh, your Divine Masculine might be out celebrating, um, you know. And <clears throat> what I'm getting is that, you know, they're actually in a really good mood. I feel like, you know, they are going with the flow, um, you know trying to, um, you know, kind of just do things as they come is what I'm feeling. And um, I feel like, you know, Divine Masculines are in a good uh, mood today. So that's really good. And here we have leadership. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspire and empower others. So this is another good message for today. You know, Divine Masculines are in that leadership role. Um, and I feel like, you know, Divine Masculines may want to extend a message towards their Divine Feminine, possibly going out, you know, today, maybe going to like a festival, um, you know, and maybe going out dancing. That is so beautiful. And more than anything, I feel that, you know, they also want to inspire and empower others, you know, by, you know, um, by leading by example is what I'm feeling. And so overall, the energies are really good today. All right. So let me go ahead and tap in uh, to your Divine Masculine's uh, current energy. And today I will use the Witch's Tarot. How does your Divine Masculine currently think about you? How are they feeling? What is it that they want to do? What are they going to do about the situation? What is the obstacle? And what is the outcome? Okay, and for clarifiers, today um, I'll use the Tarot de la Nuit. Okay. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have here King of Cups. All right, and it's clarified with Ten of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, what I'm getting here is um, 
Divine Masculines are ready to express their love towards their Divine Feminine and it is in regards to, you know, spending, you know, their time with them, you know, probably, you know, letting them know what their, you know, um, ideas are, their goals, their plans, and, you know, I feel like they are inspired now. They want to take, you know, that leadership role and, you know, and bring that uh, to light with the Divine Feminines. You know, I feel Divine Masculines are more emotionally mature to express, you know, what they feel and what they think and what they want to do towards their divine feminine and that is a beautiful energy oh and this is uh perfect here we have here the six of wands and death okay and um you know since today is single de mayo do you see how beautiful and gorgeous this um feminine's uh, makeup is you know i believe with the um you know, Hispanic culture, uh, they, they do, um, the, uh, oh gosh, see, I am not Hispanic, okay, guys, I'm, I'm half Islander, <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about, you know, they do, like, um, the death, uh, you know, thing, and so, you know, what I'm getting here is that, you know, your divine masculine is really putting an end to, you know, them being pompous, you know, um, like parading around and feeling like <clears throat> they, uh, you know, are like in their power. And I just feel that, you know, that's like almost like egotistical, okay? They're putting uh, an end to their ego, okay? Kind of like ego death. And, uh, like, there is, like, this new Divine Masculine who is more righteous, uh, you know, more spiritual, uh, you know, more, um, forthcoming is what I'm feeling, you know, more honest. And so, that, that is a really good energy. I feel like the masks are finally coming down from your Divine Masculine, and they're ready to speak their truth is what I'm feeling, especially when it, and when it comes to how they're feeling, okay? So overall, I mean, that's pretty good. All right. So let's tap into today's reading. All right. So how does your Divine Masculine currently think about you? Oh, we have the lovers. And it's clarified with the hangman. <laughs> so what I'm getting here is that Divine Masculine is thinking about... Uh, coming back towards their Divine Feminine and they have really thought about this guys they took a moment to really think that you know is this going to work with my Divine Feminine you know is this the, the relationship that's gonna withstand the test of time you know is is this person the one that I truly love and desire do I really feel happy with this person? Can we overcome obstacles together? Like, I really feel Divine Masculines have really, you know, took an assessment of, you know, who their Divine Feminine is. And I really feel that, you know, the answer is yes. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. And so that's a beautiful energy, guys. You know, that is why your Divine Masculine wants to come through as this King of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, they want to express to their Divine Feminines that they want this happy life with their partner. They want the home, the kids, the family, everything. Like, your Divine Masculine is feeling really good today. And I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, they did reach out, you know, to a few of you you know, to express this. And so that's beautiful energy. So <clears throat> how does your Divine Masculine currently feel about you? We have the Empress. And it's clarified with Eight of Cups. So this is what I'm feeling, you know. Divine and Masculines know that, you know, they have walked away from the connection 
but you know they they really haven't they're actually looking back and they want to come back towards their divine feminine and that's what i'm seeing here i really feel like you know with the passing of the new moon um they they you know have really you know took the time to reflect on you know who their divine feminine is and they just feel called to you know come back towards them because they've always been drawn or always felt connected to their divine partner and that is what i'm seeing guys you know your divine masculine is walking away from connections that are, are not emotionally fulfilling them and they see their divine feminine as that one that does and that's a beautiful energy guys Okay, so what is it that your Divine Masculine want to do in the physical? We have three of Pentacles. And it's clarified with six of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here is that, you know, Divine Masculines is really working to, you know, to come together with their divine counterpart and offer them that balance. You know, I really see that they're working on, if they're in a third party situation, they're working on remedying that, you know, particular, you know, situation. And, you know, like with this leadership card, I feel like, you know, now they feel empowered, you know, where, you know, they're going to take care of business is what I'm feeling. And they just really want to bring balance towards everything. You know, if it's with the karmic, if it's with the divine feminine, if it's with work, you know, whatever the third party uh, case may be, I feel that, you know, they do want to work things out and they, they do want to offer that stability is what I'm feeling. All right, guys. So what is it that your Divine Masculine want to do about this Three of Pentacles energy? We have here the Queen of Pentacles. And it's clarified with the King of Wands. <sighs> Alright, Mr. Divine Masculine or Miss. <laughs> what I'm getting here is that your Divine Masculine wants to bring that stability you know, to their Divine Counterpart. And... You know, they want to come in with passion. They have like this desire, this ambition to go after their divine feminine who is stable and secure. And, you know, I feel that, um, you know, they might, you know, kind of sneak their way back in or, um, you know, do something that, that is a little exciting or uh, intriguing or something to that effect mm -hmm. but I really see that your divine masculine is really trying to work you know their way back towards your divine feminine to give them that balance and you know you know uh, that's a beautiful energy I mean I really see that your divine masculine is truly wanting to take action at this time and so that's a really good energy guys all right so what is the current obstacle of your divine masculine we have temperance, and it's clarified with the Hierophant. <laughs> so, you know, what I'm getting here is that, you know, the obstacle was healing. The obstacle was coming together with their divine counterpart. The obstacle was a commitment, something that was more uh, spiritual, you know, something more traditional. And, you know, in the past, they did not offer that to their divine feminines. But I see that, you know, they're willing to step it up and move forward and take that leadership, right? And um, go with the flow and dance. I feel like, you know, they're they're like, you know, divine feminine, I, you know. How's it going? You know, I want to, you know, um, see if we can, you know, do some stuff, you know, are you available? You know, that sort of a thing. Um, I really feel like Divine Masculines are really like, in a really good energy today. You know, it feels kind of light. Um, you know, they're emotionally there, you know, physically, you know, they're there. They, they um, have that drive to do it. And so, you know, I really feel like today's a really good day, um, you know, for Divine Masculines to make that approach to their Divine Feminines. All right. So what is the uh, future potential outcome of your Divine Masculine's current energy? We have here Two of Wands. And it's clarified with Six of Wands. <laughs> so the Six of Wands come out twice. It was actually in the underlying energy here, okay, paired with Death. 
So, like I said, you know, that was the end of their ego death, okay? Because ego was in their way. But what I'm seeing here is that in the future, your Divine Masculine is wanting to make a choice uh, towards victory, is what I'm seeing. And, you know, they're feeling really good today, guys. I don't know. Today's energy is really positive. They're feeling confident and um, they're ready to take action is what I'm feeling. So with the Two of Wands, you know, that also represents the Twin Flames, you know, well, with me, you know, because of the Two Wands. And so I feel like, you know, now, you know, they're moving in a direction towards their Divine Feminine, mm -hmm. which is really beautiful. And so overall, you know, the energies are, are really good today, guys. All right. So let me go ahead and pull some Moonology cards and see what additional messages that want to come through. Don't let pride get in your way. Full Moon in Leo. What did I say? <laughs> we have here the underlying energy as the Six of Wands with this Death card, okay? Like I said, you know, their ego was definitely in their way. And this card confirms it. Don't let pride get in your way. You know, they, they were acting out of pride and ego. And they've they've let that go so that they can move forward towards their Divine Feminine. They're like, you know, like, I want my Divine Feminine back. You know, if I don't act, you know, then this will never happen. And they're feeling really good. They're feeling really positive. And I feel that Divine Masculines are ready to, you know, offer their feelings, you know. They're no longer wanting to hide it is what I'm feeling. So that's really beautiful. Hmm. Okay, we have two here. Prosperity lies ahead, New Moon and Taurus. So, you know, this is what I'm feeling. After your Divine Masculine has let go of the past, there is like new energy and abundance that is going to happen, you know, for your Divine Masculine and also for Divine Feminines as well. And so, you know, prosperity lies ahead, all right? And then here we have, what do you need to release, Waning Moon? So, you know, this is the question that Divine Masculines have probably faced um, in the recent past. And, you know, they're questioning, what do they need to release? And one of that is ego, fear, you know, anything that was holding them back from communicating or expressing their, their true feelings for their Divine Feminine. And I see that, you know, they they really thought about this connection with their Divine Feminine and, you know, they never left the connection even though physically they may have. But energetically, they've always been looking back. They've always reminisced on the past. They always had this connection with their Divine Feminine that they can no longer deny. And they're letting that ego down. And they're releasing everything in their life that is no longer serving them. So that they can have like this new beginning. Because honestly, guys, you know, with the King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles... They want to put their heart into this long-lasting commitment or lifetime partnership with their Divine Feminine. And so that is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right. Let me go ahead and pull some Romance Angels and see what other messages that want to come through. Playfulness, time to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit fun to shine. So that's what I'm feeling, guys, you know, with this playful energy. Um, and if you guys are celebrating Cinco de Mayo, you know, uh, your Divine Masculine could be in a lighter mood. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like they're feeling more light, more playful, more happy, you know, whatever the case may be. Even if they're not physically with you, energetically, I feel like your Divine Masculine is actually in a better mood today. And so that is so beautiful. <clears throat> you know, they... They really want to have like this joyful, you know, playful energy that is so innocent and fun with their Divine Feminine. And that's so beautiful, guys. All right. What else, Spirit?
flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Again, that's what I'm feeling. You know, they want to be flirty. They want to be playful. They really miss their divine feminine. And I see that here with the King of Wands. And the King of Wands, they take action. You know, um, they are driven. They have desire and, um, and fire, right? And um, they look like they're hungry for fun. <laughs> And so that's what I'm seeing, guys, you know. Like, today's a really good uh, energy for Divine Masculine. It's really good. And here we have fa uh, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you, as you forgive your parents. Okay? So even, like, if they are in a lighthearted mood today, you know, they are healing from their family issues. I feel like now they've come to terms with their family and they have released whatever that was holding them back. But at the same time, they're lear learning forgiveness and, um, and acceptance. And, you know, they are learning compassion and love for all beings, whether or not, you know, they did them harm or, or wrongdoing or whatever the case may be. So, so overall, I mean, I feel like, you know, this is a really good energy that Divine Masculines are embodying today. So again, that is really beautiful, guys. All right. So let me go ahead and pull a few more. Let me pull some uh, Lover's Oracle and see like what uh, messages that, you know, your Divine Masculine would like to share with <laughs> Divine Feminines. Uh, for today okay and this deck is very hard to shuffle guys okay so whatever falls out all right here we have reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best all right guys so again, if you guys are not in communication, okay, it's okay, you know, just reflect and send your Divine Masculine love, you know, even if they're not physically with you, you know, we just hope and pray that, you know, they are in a good mood and they are happy because that's all we want. We just want our Divine counterparts to be happy and, you know, if they have been, you know, fighting, you know, depression or going through a rough you know, time or whatever the case may be, you know, just reflect and, and, you know, give your Divine Mask on that space so that they can heal and think and whenever they're ready, then that's when they will come back, you know, towards you is when I'm feeling and, you know, everything will work out, you know, for, for the highest and greatest good, guys, okay? So don't rush the process, but trust, all right, and reflect. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change what is beyond our control. Exactly. You know, that is what uh, Spirit is trying to let us know. That, you know, we have to accept, like, whatever our current circumstances are. Whether or not we are physically with our divine counterpart or not. And, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, just know that they are really working on themselves. And if they aren't, the divine is helping them and guiding them in the right direction so that uh, they can um, heal, learn, and grow, you know, from their personal experiences. And divine feminines, you know, you too should embody, you know, this awareness that, you know, you have to accept things as they are at this time. And, you know, and don't really, you know, think think of the past so much but of the present moment is what I'm getting and you really can't control the circumstance or outcome you know so just just let things go and go with the flow and let universe work its magic for you all right guys <laughs> all right and here we have when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and memories you have shared with those you love and so, you know, this is another depressing message, but, you know, again, this is in regards to death, you know, whenever we die, you know, we cannot take nothing, you know, because the only thing that we can is our energy. Our energy is released from our body and we ascend, you know, to the higher levels, you know, and the other dimensions. But just know all dimensions happen simultaneously and they exist you know, kind of almost like in the same 
realm or same reality. It's just, you know, some you can see, which is the 3D, but there are some things that you cannot see, which is the 4D and 5D. Well, 4D, you know, you, you're kind of like in limbo state, but 5D, you know, you cannot see really the physical aspects of, of 5D consciousness. And so this is what it's talking about. You know, you can't take anything, guys, but what you can is your memories. So that is beautiful. Hold on to your memories, okay, guys? That is what transcends all space and time, okay, is your energy. All right, and here, last but not least, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Oh, that is so beautiful. You know, like, you know, if you're thinking about your divine masculine, you know, like look within your heart space and feel your divine counterpart, okay? Because their love for you is so deep you know, even if they have not, you know, expressed it to you, it is truly deep. It is buried deep, deep, deep down within if they have not told you that they have loved you. And, you know, this is what Spirit is saying is that, you know, do not deny that there is no love. There is love. It is so deep. You just cannot fathom how deep their love is for you. Okay. And just know that. All right. Okay. So let me go ahead and close out this reading with uh let me see here what do i want to do let me do um, with a postcard i haven't done one of those in a while Dearest you, you have a unique purpose and destiny that only you can fulfill. But first, you need to know that destiny isn't a destination. You don't arrive at some special place where, poof, you're perfect and happy all the time. It's about establishing and firming up a commitment to a certain experience, whatever form that takes. Your soul knows what you need to experience. Your destiny is to be present to all of life's adventures, to discover your talents and full potential through allowing inspiration to lead you. And that is what I'm getting, you know, with this leadership card, guys. You know, your divine masculine is truly working on their spirituality and they have learned to take that leadership role of their own life. Okay, and they are trying to lead by example now and not be in a period of depression, you know, or feeling lack or, or any anything thereof and they are really in their uh, full feels okay they are emotionally mature and and how they feel about this connection with their divine feminine and you know for those who are not in physical union or in no contact or low communication just know that your divine masculine is working their divine purpose and it's all a part of the plan okay so you know just know that they are truly working on themselves at this time all right guys and they are being inspired and um, that is beautiful all right so and to risk standing apart from the crowd to listen to your soul you are special as much as let's see here you are special as much as you are also paradoxically one with the world individual yet part of the great whole both truths must have led you to this moment where you are saying you are on the right track. Even if your ego self doesn't see that, listen to your soul, check with spirit, keep going. And so this is what I'm talking about. It's all about the divine masculine's ego, guys. It's all about ego death. They're putting an end to their ego, you know? And so that is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. You know, divine masculines are growing up. <laughs> Oh, so beautiful.
spirit loves you, life loves you, we love you. And so those are beautiful messages that we have received today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's reading. Thank you all for all your uh, likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And today, Divine Masculines, okay, are wanting to express their emotions to their Divine Feminines about how they really feel about this long-lasting commitment with their divine counterpart and they are ready to move along and take this leadership role and come back and give that offer to their divine feminine and divine feminines i feel are very receptive i feel that divine masculines are really working on giving that equal exchange back to their divine feminines divine masculines are ready to give to their divine other and that is so beautiful because they have been thinking about their divine feminine and um they have realized that you know they are what they truly want and desire and even though that they have uh physically left the connection energetically and spiritually they never have and they realize that guys they want to return back to their divine feminine and give them everything that they deserve and more and the whole reason why they didn't move forward was because they didn't offer that commitment to their divine feminine they were healing you know they still had some things or issues to work on but I see that in the future they are you know making that choice and that choice is to their divine feminine and they will feel victorious once they you know are finally together with their divine other and so I really hope you enjoyed today's message if you would like to book a private reading you can reach me on my website it's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition I hope you all have a wonderful